All right, we got the X4 Pro all set, ready to fly. I have the Hubson panel antenna with the logo facing me. I'm at a golf course where I can get some pretty good range. So let's see what happens. All right, we got the Hubson logo facing me. We're gonna do a range test. Quad controller. Wish me luck. All right, we're at 453 meters out, 96 meters high. That's over 500 meters, and I still got pretty good FPV with the Hubson logo facing me, so I'm gonna try to keep pushing it. All right, we are at I'm getting static at 627 meters in range, and I'm up 98.7 meters. So that's about 700 meters with this Hubson patch antenna. I'm going to bring it home. I can't really go over the street, so I'm going to bring it back. All right, so I hit return to home. All right, I turned the uh, Hubson logo towards the quad. And let's see what kind of range we get. Well guys, I'm at 360 meters in range, 64 meters up. And this is really getting starting to get staticky. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's with the Hubson logo facing the quad. 360 meters range and 84 meters high. When I had it turned around, I got what, 727 meters? And there's, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna full pitch forward. Hold this camera, would you? Get the screen in there so you don't. I mean, complete blackouts, guys. It's, it's ridiculous. Where is it, you see it? Oh, I see it. It's pointed right at it and you got absolutely no FPV none I can move it around there we go let's see all right let's go forward all right static cut out 300 and 400 meters it cuts in and out I'm still going and it's All right, so we got. It's out there. Pretty far away, man. Five hundred. It's above Ross, and now it's gotta be. Look at this FPV. I just can't believe it. I stopped it right there. I hope I can get the signal back. There we go. 610 meters range, 84 meters high, and just total static. I got to bring it back. Return to home is on. Complete static. When I had it facing the other direction, it did not do that. And I have it faced directly at the quad. I mean, there's, I just don't get it at all. I think my antenna was accidentally built backwards. But, I got 10.8 volts, so it's almost gonna be in uh, low battery. But I'm gonna take the H501S and do a range test with that, with the BTG high gain panel antenna instead of this one. And, She's coming home. She's way over them trees over there. And try and yes, I was above the trees. There was absolutely perfect clear line of sight. But this antenna just does not want to cooperate when the logo faces the drone. I mean, it's just static all the time. Complete blackouts on the screen. So with that, I really don't know what to say. Besides, you should I mean, I'm even trying to move this 
there but we're only at 253 meters out and now it just said aircraft battery low but anyways there's your long range test I couldn't go any further with the logo facing me see look at this this is unbelievable hey guys I just got back from the test for the advanced controller the hubs and panel antenna both directions logo facing the quad logo facing me the first flight man I could have went further but I wanted to try you know with the I could have went further but there was also a, a big highway that I didn't want to cross so I'm gonna find another area but the first flight 730 meters and I could have went further but I didn't want to brought it back and I swear it probably took 10 minutes to get there, 10 minutes back. I flipped the antenna around just to make sure. And when the Hubson logo was not facing the uh, quad, you know, like the first flight, the second flight, the logo was facing the quad. I was getting breakups at 300 meters, complete screen blackouts. And, you know, so that's how I'm going to fly. I mean, I mean Maybe that's just my antenna and some of your guys's. I'm not saying they're all like that, but I'm definitely flying with the Hubson logo facing me and the blank side towards the quad. I just proved it if you watch the video. And right after that, I took the H501S and the standard transmitter with the antenna modifications I did, and I took that. And got more range. I actually went to actually 800 meters. I was a little closer to the, that highway, but I turned around. And uh, it made it back. And then, after I landed, I still had more battery. And that's a long flight. 800 meters out at 100 meters high. You know, that's, well, <laughs> that's far. And I brought it home. And, uh, and then I did some fast altitude the whole flying man that thing was ripping I went down a 400 field fairway in like three seconds you know my dad had the camera and he didn't really know how to work it so I mean you can't really see it and then I looked at the video from the quad and it was so kind of darkish and it was going so fast you couldn't see anything but that thing rips an altitude hold but you got to be careful because when you full pitch forward it wants to kind of fly itself into the ground, so you got to throttle up as you go. If you're going to go sticks 100% and have it in expert mode, you know, where your sticks are at 100%, if you full pitch it in altitude hold, it wants to go towards the ground. So you need to throttle it up and maintain control. And then if you do sharp bank turns, it can get a little crazy on you because you're confusing the barometer. And um, so... Before turning, I suggest slowing down a little bit, but you'll see that that's coming up, and uh, thanks for watching. Next video is the H501S range test and some very fast altitude old flying, so stay tuned. Thank you.